I never thought I'd be crying on a beach in Maui. Flash floods, high winds, landslides. One of the most famous beaches in the world. We're Matt and Nat, a travel couple based out of Nashville, Tennessee. After having our world turned upside down in 2020, we decided to set out on our biggest adventure yet, to see all 50 states in a year. In our last video, we were in Maui and drove the famous road to Hana, where we enjoyed incredible black sand beaches, swam at the base of an 80-foot waterfall, and ended our day at Haleakala National Park. This week, our 50 states in a year journey comes to a close with our final adventure in the Aloha State. Welcome to Hawaii. Hawaii, part four and the final episode in our 50 States in a Year series. So before we get into this video, we want to thank everyone that has joined us on this journey and chosen to support us. Whether that's been by watching a video, commenting, hitting that thumbs up button, clicking the subscribe button, or even becoming a patron, we are so grateful because without you, we would not be able to do this. Honestly, no amount of words can express how grateful we are for you. But now let's get into why you are actually here, and that is to see more of the beautiful islands of Hawaii. Now we're not gonna lie, our time in Maui has not gone as planned. This right here is the most sunshine we've seen since we landed a couple of days ago. And we have waited till the last possible day to <laughs> film in hopes that the weather will be better. And we don't mean that we haven't seen the sun just because it's been cloudy. There have actually been flash floods, high winds, landslides that have all caused power outages and debris filled beaches like you see behind us here. The big island was actually on a blizzard watch for the past few days. So just take a second to wrap your head around that. How's our time in Hawaii going, you ask? Well, there's an idea. <laughs> Thankfully, we're not flying out for another day or two, but the airport has a power outage and there's hundreds or thousands of passengers stranded. Some in planes on the runway, some in the airport. Yeah, yeah because of this. So we just got an alert on our phone. What does it say? National Weather Service flash flood warning is in effect for this area. It's a dangerous, life-threatening situation. Do not attempt to travel unless you are fleeing an area subject to flooding or under an evacuation order. Welcome to Hawaii, folks. So these are the roads. No wonder they told people to stay inside. These roads are gone. Whoa. Oh gosh. Look at that. Can you see it? Yeah, these people don't need to be going. Should we go or no? I mean, I don't know. I think probably turn around. Look at that. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Yeah. Look at that. Things coming down. Whoa. Man, that's crazy. Wow. Oh my gosh. So the power keeps flickering on and off here, so we're praying we don't lose power, but it's getting pretty bad out there. Oh my gosh. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. But here we are trying to make the most of it. We wanted an epic video to end this series, but this is the reality of our situation. <laughs> and like we said from the beginning, we're gonna be filming the good, the bad, the ugly. Yep. So let's get our day started and hopefully it won't be ugly. Or bad. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs>
we said before, there are a lot of power outages. Yes, and that included most of the places that we had planned to go for lunch. <laughs> so we're back to the drawing boards. At this point, we're on what? Like plan E or something. Yeah, so hopefully least, this so. next spot has electricity. So we're making a little pit stop at the Maui dive shop. Yesterday, <laughs> in the rain, I learned how to boogie board. I've never done it before, and I was killing it. Yep. But those waves were so big that it <laughs> broke my board. Yeah. Um, so and, now we and, have to get a replacement. Yeah, and this was a rental board. So uh, I yeah. see that they have them so there. we're going to go buy one, maybe, and see what the replacement fee is. So. Yeah. You know, Oops. but she is a boogie boarding queen. I mean, now. I just want to say that I, I was going to show you guys today, but it's Wait. so muddy then yeah. I might, the water's but gross. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm good now, so. <laughs> Boogie board crisis averted. <laughs> now on to lunch. All right, it's starting to rain again, but this restaurant is open, so we're going to the Maui Brewing Company. Mexican Maui Lager. And I got their Day of Infamy, which was a special Pearl Harbor anniversary brew. I also got the boneless chicken, which I thought were boneless chicken wings. This is not look like boneless chicken wings. No, nope, not like any I've ever seen. So we'll see if I like it. Um, and I went super basic with just a cheeseburger because we've been eating fish and rice sure. and all the Hawaiian things for the past, yeah. I don't know, five to six days or so. So I wanted something very basic. <laughs> I had the option of getting the regular like buffalo sauce, but I picked the huli sauce, which don't know what that is, so. Ooh. Looks good. The sauce is good. I don't know what kind of chicken. chicken it is. Looks interesting. Oh gosh, I wonder if it's weird. You know what I mean? Like what part of it? Oh no, don't tell me. I can't complain. It's a good cooked burger. The bun is nice and soft. They have a house made like Thousand Island dressing on it, which I love, so thumbs up. Okay, we gotta talk about how the sun is shining. <laughs> No, this is I amazing. Even, I even reached for my sunglasses, but I didn't have them. And we didn't have our sunglasses. This is amazing. <laughs> so we found out what my chicken was. It's like dark meat with the skin on it. Yes. <gasps> it was really so good. So on the mainland, I feel like we're used to white chicken, yeah. diced, battered, fried. This was a game changer. Skin on, fried. Oh my gosh. Oh, delicious. So good. Now we are headed to Lahaina. Wow, I can't believe you joined me yeah. on that. said we can only listen to this as long as it's not raining because yeah. otherwise it's depressing. It's depressing. And I agree 100%. So second it starts raining, boom, Adele in for the win. <laughs> Hopefully no Adele today. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> to the beautiful Kanapali Beach. It is one of the most famous beaches in the world. We had plans to snorkel and cliff jump here and spend the day just hanging out, but a lot of those plans were hindered by the weather. All that said, we do have all of the details in the blog, so check it out. Link is in the description. And if you do any of those things on your Maui vacation, be sure to tag us so we can live vicariously yeah. through you. Now we're gonna go boogie board because <laughs> the water is just too murky to snorkel. Yep. I'm not gonna lie, I said I was a good boogie boarder i just learned yesterday and these waves are bigger like people are actually surfing them <laughs> and also my rib bones are so bruised from yesterday don't be nervous you got it yeah okay it might not last long i don't know yeah we'll see 
So, just got a text before we got into the water that our really cool bucket list item that we really wanted to do here in Hawaii and ended up like on a high note, our luau was canceled due to inclement weather again. Yeah. We're kind of a, uh, I don't know, we hate to even film these moments where we're not happy and enjoying our time, but uh, we're pretty defeated right now. Yeah, we've, I kind of just want to cry. We've literally had plan after plan after plan cancel on us or change due to weather. And this was the one thing we still had hope for happening because it hadn't canceled. We actually already had to reschedule it once due to weather. Um, we yeah. rescheduled it to tonight and... It's our last night. Like... Yep, this is our last night in Maui and this is our last chance to get a big bang finish to the 50 states in a year series. And now I don't know what it's going to be. Yeah, here we are. <sighs> we hate to be negative and hate to feel like we're complaining, but we spent a lot of money to be here. <laughs> and uh, So if you've ever been on a vacation and it's literally raining the whole time and you're just paying to be in a hotel room, it just stinks. We feel yeah. your pain. And it's more the fact that we were supposed to celebrate and this was like our actual vacation. We had days off where we weren't filming, that we got to explore, where we got to like relax mm. and get we're a tan to. and all this stuff and like nothing. None of it's happened. <laughs> yeah, especially, yeah, our time in Maui has, to say it hasn't gone as planned would be an understatement. It has gone quite the opposite of planned for the most part. Yeah. And it sucks because we feel like we should be celebrating and like, like it's a Rejoicing. huge accomplishment that we did 50 seats in a year and you guys came along with us and we wanted it to be like a really cool vlog for you guys. Like there's nothing else we can do. It just sucks. Naturally, we put a lot of weight on our time in Maui because it was like the crown jewel of our 50 Everybody was like, like, oh my God, Maui is the best. So obviously we spent more days here than in Oahu. Yep, booked more days here, had more activities scheduled here. Yeah, <sighs> I don't even know what to say. We sat here for about a half hour after we got the email trying to come up with a game plan of how we can make this work booking a different flight home and all the things and none of it would work without us spending an extra probably thousand bucks that we just don't have to and spend it's still not it. even a guarantee that it's not gonna rain tomorrow no. or so we're just... sorry guys we feel like uh, I know it's not our fault but we we still feel like we're letting you down by not giving this awesome Maui experience like we had planned on or hoped for. So, yay, we did it, 50 states in a year. So yeah, we, we were supposed to go out and go board. boogie boarding and now we're like, I don't even care right now. <laughs> I'm just defeated, frustrated. And the fact that it's not raining right now and they canceled makes me even more mad. Yeah, and it's not even supposed to have really any rain tonight. A couple of little sprinkles here and there, but. I never thought I'd be crying on a beach in Maui. Yeah. Oh, the privileged life that we live. I and just... we, we know we are privileged to even be here. Yeah. And we're just having to roll with it now. We've been rolling with it for <laughs> the past three days and we're we're beat up. We're tired yeah, of rolling like, with it. Everything just keeps going wrong and you can only stay positive so long until you start laughing and you're just like, of course, it's gonna rain right now because I already felt a couple drops. Like, of course. Like, we've, why wouldn't a bad, been another bad all, thing? We've been through all the stages of staying positive <laughs> to being depressed to <laughs> it could turn around and being hopeful to this moment here where we're finally just completely defeated and out of options pretty much. So I'm gonna go cry some more on the beach and maybe we'll feel better, I don't know. Sucks. Yeah. died yesterday so I can't even imagine in these waves. These are definitely uh, more intense than yesterday's. Yeah and I don't think I'm like that big of a pro. I was just joking. I mean, I, you're pretty good but you know. Well let me see you do it first. I want to see somebody successfully do it and I haven't seen that on this beach. Well that guy's already looks like he's giving up. Yeah. Well, he hasn't ridden Look. the wave yet. Oh my god. That'd be me. See? Ooh. Is he going right away? I don't know. No he came. He's coming out. See? Man. I haven't seen one I one feel. person successfully do it. Okay, there's this there's that guy. He's going out. Alright. <gasps> Under him. That was stressful. But that was a big wave. Yeah, my eyelashes would fly right off. Here he goes. 
Oh, you know, he also surfs in his free time. <laughs> yeah. The boogie board almost died. The guy next to us said that he almost died on the boogie board. And so that's why I am not gonna go. We were just now deciding to like get up, make the most of it. Let's take a walk on the beach, boogie board, something. Yeah, and it's starting to <laughs> rain again. So, I uh, think we're gonna pack up the beach yeah. stuff before it all gets soaked. Yeah, it's already it's started. It's pretty quick. Yeah, unfortunately the Maybe. boogie boarding didn't happen because it's pretty rough out there and we've watched a lot of people quit. Yeah, yeah get beat up pretty bad <laughs> doing it, so. We didn't want to be those people. Yeah, with, with the way this trip has gone, we didn't want to give it another chance to, to screw like, us over. To break an arm or something. <laughs> we're good. just got back to our Jeep and the locks aren't working. So the locks on my side won't work. A mind of their own right now. <gasps> yep, I haven't touched it, nothing. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Yep. That was like kind of scary. All of a sudden it just started locking. All by itself. All by itself. This Jeep is definitely on its last leg, I would say. So am I. <laughs> Same. But really. Don't know what we're gonna go do. Uh, the luau is supposed to be happening right now. So we might drown our sorrows in shaved ice if a place is open. Now that the locks are like locking and unlocking and unlocking and locking and have like literally a mind of their own. I mean, we've got stuff in the car we're and we're- to take all of our most valuable things that we can carry on our backs. So yeah, long story short, we're praying that our car doesn't get broken into while we go get shaved ice. Cause that would be just, just a little cherry on top. It's just not been our day guys. now just roaming the streets of Lahaina town which is a really cool main street I think it's called front street tons of shops restaurants yeah. and that banyan banyan tree whatever is like one insane. of the world's largest trees mm -hmm. um, there's a bunch of parrots here that we're probably not supposed to take videos of it kind of reminds me of St. Augustine but obviously in yeah, Hawaii with a little more uh, Hawaiian flair <laughs> So I know we've had a pretty crappy past few days, but not near as bad as some of the locals have had. We've been watching crews clean up entire mudslides, and we've now passed two or three boats that have capsized and are sunk here in the bay, which makes our crappy days seem a whole lot less. Look what's closed. I'm kinda done. <laughs> Saw a couple, like a gelato shop, which is not shaved ice that's open. open. Monday through Sunday, 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. What time is it now? Oh, it's only 5.30. <laughs> it's fine. So I changed my mind. I didn't want shaved ice anymore <laughs> because you can get shaved ice anywhere. Can you get Dole Whip everywhere? Nope. Nope, and right when we saw that Dole Whip sign, it turned our frowns upside down a little bit. We're gonna enjoy them. By the water. Look out over the ocean. That's getting dark. Mm -hmm. That is quick. <laughs> but that's okay. We just realized we have to make the best of it and we are in Hawaii and it's not raining, so yep. could be worse. Gotta count our blessings. Mm, this does help though, <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> The 
moments like this just make us appreciate you guys. So thank you so much for being a part of the journey. Even when the journey isn't so exciting. Kind of ugly or bad. Like we said at the beginning of the video, we're gonna document good, bad, and ugly. Today's had a little bit of all of those. <laughs> this is the good part though. So yes, dessert was well needed before <laughs> dinner. Absolutely. But now we're gonna head down to our side of the island, which is in Wailea, because everything up here in Lahaina is super busy and booked up and we can't get any reservations for dinner. So let's go. All right, so after trying a couple different restaurants that were either closed because of COVID or closed because of the storm, <laughs> we decided to come to our hotel and change. We finally found a place that is open, has seafood, and we don't need a reservation. Let's go. <laughs> So I got the Maui mule, which is a traditional Moscow mule with pineapple juice added, and it sounds delicious. And it absolutely is. It's like a Moscow mule with a little hit of tropical freshness. It's a tiki, man. So I got a Mai Tai, because everybody said you have to have a Mai Tai when you come to Hawaii. I don't know, I've never had one before. I don't know if I should stir it, because it's all separate, but it did come with the chili. I guess I'm gonna mix it, right? Will it mix? Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. It tastes better than it looks. So, so we got the crab cake poo poo platter. Also known as an appetizer in Hawaii. We're five years old and it's comical for us. <laughs> So it's got what they call their dynamite aioli on top, which is essentially a spicy mayo. And it's also topped with a mango salsa to add a nice little touch of sweetness to the spice. All I wanted today was a good crab cake. <laughs> she spent probably 30 minutes looking at her phone and looking at this menu, <laughs> figuring out if she was going to get the crab cakes or the risotto. And now I get to have both. <laughs> Once we saw they had crab cakes for an appetizer, her dreams came true. I got the seafood risotto, so I'm excited. Looks like there's what, shrimp, Gallop. shrimp scallops, and is that crab maybe? Crab, oh, calamari, maybe. or I don't know, it looks good though. I'm excited about yeah. it. And I got their McKenna style poke, which is their sweet poke with like a teriyaki sauce, but I also got a side of the dynamite aioli. Now Matt's is on the smaller yes, side. It is. Let's dig in. And I guess since I did get poke, I should use yeah. sticks. I've watched a lot of Food Network TV shows and I know risotto is really hard to cook. The risotto is a little, there's some that are like still a little crunchy, mm. some that are like good. Flavor is really good. I just wish the risotto would cook a little bit more. Good. I mean, it's poke. Matt loves poke. When in doubt, he gets poke. Mm. The flavor is really good. Yeah, flavor's on point. Exactly what you said. Risotto is not yeah. perfect, but they make up for it with the flavor and the amount of seafood they put in there. Yeah, the seafood. They didn't skimp out. So I was excited for the crispy wonton shell that the poke was served in, but it is stale, so not worth eating. If that's all that's wrong with tonight's meal after the day we've had, <laughs> The I'll couple take it. of days that we've had. Couple of we have. I'll take it. Listen, it's not a luau, but it ain't bad. <laughs> I'm stuffed. <laughs> that definitely hit the spot. I'm not stuffed, but I am very content. But that not only ends our time here in Maui, that ends our 50 states in a year. Yep. It's wild to think that we've been to all 50 states within the past 12 months. It's insane. And even though our time here in Maui hasn't gone yeah. quite as we would have liked, we had a little bit of time over dinner to talk about and reflect on all the amazing things that we got to do. I mean, from learning to snowboard in West Virginia. Which, to swimming with manatees in Florida. Yep, and riding a slingshot down Las Vegas Boulevard, listening to our favorite 90s and 2000s jams. <laughs> to eating lobster in Maine. And hiking one of the most dangerous hikes in Utah, Angel's Landing. Getting to see bison in Yellowstone. Riding ATVs through the desert in Arizona and taking an airplane ride over Lake Powell and Horseshoe Bend. And also I mean, almost dying in yeah, Arizona too, but yeah. we survived that one. So <laughs> We could go on and on all night long because
because we really have had the most amazing year we could have ever imagined. But it made us realize that even though this one video might not have gone quite as planned, it was never about a single video. It was about the entire series, about the entire year, and capturing amazing memories across the entire United States of America. So if you started following us in January, or if you even just started following us with this video, <laughs> we cannot thank you guys enough. Like without you, this whole journey wouldn't have been as fun. Yep. We wouldn't have been able to do it without you guys. <laughs> so we just want to thank you. And as a small token of our appreciation, we have postcards from all over the United States and we want to share them with you. So comment below and we're going to pick 50 comments at random and send you a postcard. So even though the 50 States in a Year series is over, the adventure is not. That's right. <laughs> so make sure you guys stay tuned for our announcement on what is next. We'll see you then. Welcome. Oh, I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> He's okay. me hanging. Yeah, my bad. And the sun is finally out right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, what thank you, warm, God. What's this warm ball of light I see in the sky? We haven't used sunglasses at all or sunscreen because there hasn't been any sun. No. Okay. <laughs> and I brought a shirt with me that I bought nearly 20 years ago specifically for a Hawaiian luau in case a friend had a luau birthday And nobody party. had it. In this 20 years, I haven't had a chance to wear a luau shirt. And I had a dress that I bought probably like 10 years ago and it still yeah. had the tag on it for a Hawaiian luau. We were gonna wear those things tonight. That, that's how much emphasis we put on this Hawaiian luau. Hopefully we'll come back. It would've been a beautiful night for a luau, wouldn't it? I don't know about beautiful, but it would have been okay. It would have been doable. Yeah, it would have. Down Las Vegas Boulevard. Boulevard. <laughs>